Okay, so now we're going to cover just a few of the basics of Unix, and specifically we're going to be covering the home directory, and also the commands cd and ls, which we'll get to in just a moment. So first of all, when you open up a new terminal, you are in your home directory. So what does this mean? This is just the home directory that you would see if, say, you navigated to it from Finder in Mac, for example. So here, if I type in ls, which stands for list contents, I see a list of the different directories and the different files which are in my home directory. So here it's color coded so that directories are in blue and files such as text files, gzip files, other text files are in plain black text. Now if I want to navigate to another directory such as my desktop, which has these folders and these files right here. I need to do a command called cd, which stands for change directory. So from my current location, I type cd and then desktop. All right. Another interesting and useful tool or useful command to know is that even if I don't complete this entire string, if I don't type in all of desktop, if I type in enough letters so that it's unique to any one of these folders or files, I can just hit the tab key and it will automatically fill it in. So CD desktop hit return. Now here again I can type in the ls command and I see all of the different folders and all the different files which are on my desktop. So you can actually type in ls from outside of a folder to see what's in it. You don't need to type in cd to go into the folder and then type in ls. So for example, I'm in my desktop folder. So I'm moving my mouse around this desktop area. And I can just type in ls example folder. Okay. Now there's nothing in there, so it's going to return nothing. Now. What I can do is I can move or type in MV and do temp1.txt and then I type in the name of the target directory. In this case, I'm going to say example folder. So what that command did, and you saw temp1 disappear, it moved temp1 into example folder. So if I open this up, you can see the temp1 is in there. And the equivalent action in Unix would be to type in ls example folder. And I see here that temp1.txt is now indeed inside example folder. So you can see that uh, typing in mv, then the name of a file, and then the folder will move that file into the folder, which is the same thing as just dragging and dropping, right? So I'm going to move that back out just to show this again. So to move this into example folder 2, using Unix commands, I would just type in mv tmp2.txt example folder 2. And now to see the contents of example folder 2, I type in ls example folder 2. So that's a very basic overview of some of the most important tools that you'll be using no matter what kind of Unix session you're using, no matter how complicated or how easy it is. So that's it and in the next tutorial we'll be covering some more advanced tools.